Welcome here to Chalk FCB and welcome back to the channel this evening, guys. We wanted goals tonight against struggling LJ. And you know what? We absolutely got them. It was two for Robert Lewandowski, one as well for Ferran Torres. And what about that goal from Ansu Fati? Given all the noise that we've heard about him over this past week, what a way to respond. It was a wonderful, wonderful finish. And we're going to be talking all about the game there which included a really interesting lineup from Xavi. There is lots to discuss, so come on and let's do it. Because given that Xavi did not have the likes of Andreas Christensen, Ousmane Dembele, Pedri, Frankie de Jong or Rafinha available to him this weekend, I think it's safe to say we acquitted ourselves pretty well. Because looking there at the back line, it was Jordi Alba that came in for Balde at left back. And I was surprised to see that Araujo started this game, given we got that big game against Real Madrid on Wednesday. But it was in midfield where the headlines really started. We spoke before the game about Eric Garcia, we said, will he be tried in that area? Will we try him as a pivot? Xavi did. And we're going to be talking about those results. And in the front line, the big start there was for Ansu Fati, given everything that's gone on with his father, of course. How would he play in this game. And I do want to start first of all, guys, by talking about that Eric Garcia move from Xavi because I actually thought tonight, in that pivot role, completely unfamiliar territory for him in midfield. First time he's played there in this Barca team. I thought he did well. It's a big change for him there, moving from defence into midfield. You've got very different responsibilities, but you can see the thinking from Xavi. He's got real quality in his vision, in his passing range. We've seen that with him as a defender, and it was even more evident in midfield and you can use that and you certainly saw tonight some really good passes the way that he carried himself in that position now of course it's going to take a little bit of time to get all of the positioning right at times he was sort of looking around wondering where he should be every minute of the game and obviously Elche didn't put him under huge pressure but I think it's an interesting experiment and this is something I'd like to see actually happen more and more now towards the end of the season when we have a game like this just try it out. It's worth a go. And tonight, there was positive signs from Eric Garcia. But it was on the 20th minute mark there that Barca did make the breakthrough against Elche. It was Jordi Albert with the ball in. Araujo gets up well. He nods it down, cushions it really nicely there. Intelligent play to Robert Lewandowski. And actually then, the ball's behind him. It's not a great first touch. Lewandowski there, he's having to dig it out. And you do wonder, can he score from there? There's so many bodies ahead of him. Not an easy finish at all. And he the end, it's actually a deflection into his own leg, he hits it into the ground, and it ends up in the back of the net. And I'll tell you what, about these top quality strikers, they just find a way. They will find a way, whatever it takes is a deflection, a lucky bounce, they will make sure they score. And it was a really, really welcome goal for Robert Lewandowski. I was surprised before half-time there that he didn't double his tally. Really good play on the right from Ferran Torres. Puts a great ball into the box. Real power, real accuracy on it. Lewandowski from close range, heads that ball over there. So it could have been 2-0 before half time. There was also a chance for Jules Kunde coming in. Have some really good work from Gavi there to open up the space. Kunde though denied by the defender. Pretty much on the line and Barca at half time. Leading by one goal to nil. But of course, in this game this weekend, guys, we all knew there was going to be huge eyes on Ansu Fati. We all knew that he was going to be under some real pressure off the back of that interview there from his father. Because not only then do you have the pressure of the Barca shirt, which already is enormous, by the way. Every game that you play, you're expected to perform. And now to just add to that, you've got these very public comments about the fact that he hasn't been playing. There was always going to be real scrutiny on his performance tonight. And I've got to say, guys, the first half from Ansu, it wasn't great. It didn't really go to plan there. He was struggling with his touch in and around the area. Every ball that went into him, you know, it wasn't really happening. He wasn't able to have the kind of impact that he was looking for. And I've got to say, at halftime, a lot of us Barcelona fans, we were fearing the worst when it came to Ansu. With the week that he's had, with all of the speculation, it was not really going to plan. Another opportunity, maybe, he wasn't going to take advantage of. But... Then that moment came in the second half there, 10 minutes into the second half, and the space just opened up for him. He actually receives the ball there inside his own half. He's not afraid to carry it, to run with the ball. Elche then are backing away from him, not really sure whether to close him down or not. There's a good run as well in there from Robert Lewandowski, but the finish from Ansu 
It's a wonderful finish. And this is exactly the kind of thing, when I'm thinking about Ansu Fati at his best, you know, when he was really in his top condition, top form, it was that explosivity. It was that feeling in front of goal that he was going to be ruthless every single time, that no matter what, he was going to put that away. And this finish for me, absolutely electric there, stunning the way that he takes it on, real power on the shot, but also real placement as well. The goalkeeper can't get anywhere near it. And that's what he wanted. That is what he has needed after this week of scrutiny, week of speculation. A goal for Ansu Fati just when he needed it. And then the floodgates well and truly open for Barca. As you can see here, Jules Kunde and Gavi pressing high. You can't doubt the hunger tonight from Barca. We may have been 2 0 up here against the team at the bottom of the league, but we kept on going. We wanted more and more and more. Elche there, a wide open. Robert Lewandowski, easy ball in, through on goal. Goal, and it's a great finish from him there. No mistake this time in front of goal. Slots it home. Second of the game from him. And Robert Lewandowski responding today. He was on a little bit of a goal drag. You know, for him, it would have been a major one. For many other players, just a small one. But two goals for him tonight. Really, really important for his confidence. And then he was involved as well in the fourth goal too. It was him that assisted there. Ferran Torres, wonderful ball over the top. Ferran's first touch here is brilliant, by the way. Takes it inside of Elche. There's a good run either side of him as well. One from Kessie, one from Ansu Fati to just open up that space. And again, the finish is top, top quality. Ferran Torres here just bending it round the goalkeeper outside of the box, but great placement on the finish. And it was a really, really good goal to make it. 4-0 to Barca. And I just look at what we've been able to do tonight in terms of these goals and these goal scorers. You've got one for Ferran, one for Ansu, two for Lewandowski. They're all confidence boosting goals. Each one of our forwards they're chipping in. It's really helpful for them and especially now ahead of that game against Real Madrid on Wednesday to have a good feeling about the group, to be scoring a lot of goals here, doing what we needed to do. And especially now when you're looking at the league table, looking at that gap, it is absolutely dominant right now from Barca. We are 15 points clear. Yes, 15 clear of Real Madrid right now. They will play at home tomorrow against Valladolid. Big pressure on them in that game to try and reduce that gap a tiny bit before, like I say then, on Wednesday in that all-important second leg. That is a massive, massive game in the Copa del Rey semi-final. We're all sitting around waiting now. We are all excited about that game. And of course as well, for all of us Barcelona fans right now, it's already a really exciting time. Not only are we top of the league, not only have we got a cup semi-final on the way, but there's also plenty of rumours swirling around about Lionel Messi. We did discuss him over on More Talk FCB earlier on today. Really positive signs, really good feelings right now surrounding that move. And actually, things are so positive, many people thought that video earlier on on More Talk FCB was an April Fool. It wasn't, guys. In Spain, they don't even celebrate April Fool's Day on this day. So that video there, it was 100% genuine. The feelings right now and Messi's will to return, it is very much there. But tonight against Elche, Barca well and truly getting the job done. Four goals in our favour. And a big one there for Ansu Fati. Please do let me know, guys, all of your thoughts on tonight's performance. And what are you feeling now looking ahead to that Real Madrid game? I will see you soon indeed for all of that build-up and plenty more indeed to come. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for getting involved here today. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will see you soon. Big win tonight, but until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca.